All right. Um, so what a central limit theorem is, is if, what, if one were to, were to take random samples of size n from a population of mean, which is denoted by mu, and a standard deviation of sigma, and if you were to take enough samples, your entire um, curve would look like a bell-shaped curve and it would approach normal mean of the population. So keeping that into consideration, we are given a problem uh, which in which we are evaluating the exposure of asbestos and how is it related to the occurrence of death in a certain pop amount of population. In the current problem, we are given the sample size of 50 and we are also given the upper limit of 29 and a lower limit of 22. And the standard deviation is seven with a mean of 25. So for that, we take our equation, uh, z is equal to uh, the sample minus uh, the mu divided by sigma. Uh, so we do that for our uh, limits, x1. Uh, so we do z1 equals uh, 22 minus 25 divided by 7 to get negative uh, minus 3 over 7. And again, we do that for our z2, uh, which will come out to 29 minus 25 divided by 7 to give us 4 over 7. Right. And once we have plugged in these variables into our equation, we can get the upper and lower limits um, for our, our z numbers in which we then take the difference to find the area between them, which is 0 0.7157 minus 0 0.3336, and this equals 0 0.3821. And that's about 38, um, about 38 percent chance that the probability of the mean number of years between asbestos exposure and death will be uh, between 22 and 29 years in the sample of 50 from that community. Thank you.